I honestly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's the first video I filmed in this room and it's already a mess. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm sitting atop a cooler. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it has been a hot minute. And there are lots of things that I could say about that, but uh, I'll just say I'm sorry. Welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be taking a little dive into some clothing options, some outfit ideas that you could wear after our lovely quarantine is over. I will start off by saying I'm in Arizona and Arizona like never did a quarantine really. Our governor was basically like, yeah, stay home if you guys can, but like also you're not like totally required to and like go out and enjoy the sunshine. A whole bunch of the other YouTubers that I follow have been like doing a whole bunch of like day in the lives in quarantine, what I've been eating in quarantine, and I'm like my quarantine life is literally the exact same. But we are here today after a very long hiatus talking about what you can wear after quarantine is over or if your quarantine is also over, what you can wear now for the summer. A couple of theories about what life after quarantine is gonna look like fashion-wise. The first one is, I think since everyone has kind of been in loungewear for so long, I have a feeling a lot of people miss dressing up. I know I sure do. My job hasn't made me dress up for a really long time, so I don't even really put makeup on when I go in. I put like a little bit on, but it's been like kind of sad, like I miss getting ready. I have a feeling that after quarantine, when things start opening up, you're gonna see a lot of really bougie looking people out there. I think that you're gonna see a lot of people that are dressed to the nines, their makeup's done, they're ready to go. They look poppin', they are ready for the paparazzi. That's theory number one. Theory number two is I think it's gonna be the exact opposite. Everyone is so used to loungewear that they're just gonna keep wearing their loungewear. So I have a little bit of a mix in my list here here. Some cute, feminine, minimal, whatever pieces that are like more dress up pieces. And there's also a couple of more like easy or casual or lounge things as well. So this was a really long intro. I'm also getting really hungry. So we're going to make this video as quick as possible. So the first outfit trend piece thing that I can see being really popular for summer because it has caught me in its trap and I am freaking obsessed with it. These flirty little flowy milkmaid lightweight summer dresses that we've got going on. I have one of them on right now. I have like four of them that I purchased within the past like three weeks because they're so freaking cute. This is not something that I would normally wear but it's so freaking cute. I cannot get over it. Perfect for summer because they weigh literally nothing. You're gonna look put together. They're also really easy because all they are is just one piece that you throw on and then walk out the door. The next trend outfit thing that I think is probably going to be really popular this summer is button-up shirts with denim shorts. This was pretty popular last summer as well, but I just think that the button-up with the denim look is so cute. It's dressy but also still casual at the same time, especially if you're wearing it as kind of like a cover-up and then you wear them kind of tucked in, like half tucked in to denim shorts. It looks classy, but it's still comfortable enough that you're not feeling super like suffocated in it. The next one is kind of what I was talking about where I'm talking about like more loungy stuff. I do think the put together lounge sets are going to continue even after quarantine is over. I think a lot of people bought a whole bunch of them. I think a lot of people love wearing them, especially those super matchy matchy ones like monochrome or just like the same pattern, same texture, same print, like whatever. They look put together enough that you can still wear them out if you need to run errands. They're just easy to wear, really comfortable, and also can be dressed up or dressed down. My AC just kicked on and it feels really good, but it's also really loud. The next item that I think is gonna be super popular summer this summer is lingerie tops as actual tops so like a bustier a corset or just like any bralette type deal that you're gonna wear as an actual top obviously there are different ways that this can go there's a way to make it classy and there's a way to make it kind of tacky personally I wouldn't wear this all that often I think I would probably wear it out like to the club but I do think this can look super super cute especially like the more vintage style ones lingerie tops as tops 
moving on. The next thing that I think is going to be super big this summer because it's been big for a really long time now and I think it's not going anywhere anytime soon is the monochrome outfit, especially white monochrome. This is something that I haven't really jumped on myself. The idea of white pants kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm not sure exactly how to wear white pants without getting them freaking destroyed but i do think this is going to continue to be really popular this summer so if you are braver than i am and you want to buy some white pants go for it it's going to be so in white flowy pants white jeans whatever you are so feeling this just looks so sleek so classy so easy to put together but i think that's going to be so big this summer as well especially lighter pastels and lighter whites i think those are going to look Higher. The next item that I think is going to be really popular again this summer is actually ruched tops. I think that's going to be so popular. I have seen this all over Pinterest, all over Instagram, all over recently, and I think it just looks so pretty, so feminine, so classy. I think it's a really great way to get some more interest into an outfit, especially a more monochromatic outfit or a more simple minimalistic outfit without going over the top with adding extra patterns or extra colors or anything like that. It just throws a little bit of interest in there while still keeping it classy and cute. And then the very last thing that I can see being really popular this summer because I have a lot of them and maybe I'm alone in my thoughts about this, but espadrille platform sandals and just espadrille platforms in general, I think are going to be so popular because they have been popular and I don't see them going anywhere. I think they are so freaking cute. I am obsessed with them. They're so comfortable. They're so easy to walk in and they just kind of dress up any outfit without just making it like a plain sandal or a plain flip-flop. Basically, anytime that you can wear flip-flops, you can throw out a pair of estrogel platforms and you just elevated your outfit from like here to like here. That is it for my summer little like trend outfit idea piece that I don't know what to call this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you guys want to see from me. I know it's been a while since I posted, but I am ready to get back on the grind because I'm finally back into a more settled routine. Follow my Instagram if you are interested in seeing more of my day-to-day -day outfits, what pieces I'm wearing on the regular. I know this is kind of just like a sneak peek into what I normally wear. Uh, I love you guys and I will see you next week. I'm not gonna say in my next video because the last like six times that I've said in my next video I've taken so long to upload a new video. So I'm gonna say I will see you next week because I will see you next week and I'm gonna keep uploading. Okay, thanks. Bye. Love you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and send to your friends and your cousin's mother's sister. Okay, bye.